Hi guys, in today's video, I'm going to be discussing past paper SAT or ACT questions about linear functions. So now, if we have the question, so f is a linear function and f of 3 is equal to 2. f of 5 is equal to 6 and using this we have to find out what is the y-intercept of this graph so now we know the points are 3 comma 2 so this is one point and 5 comma 6 is the other point so now using this we the gradient formula is y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1 so this will be equal to, so 6 is y2 as it's the second y value. It will be 6 minus 2 divided by 5 minus 3. So this will be equal to 4 by 2 which is equal to 2. So this is the slope or the gradient which we found. Now using the regular formula y equals mx plus c. In this c is the y intercept. So now we take any of these points 3 comma 2 or 5 comma 6. So if we take 3 comma 2, the y value is 2. So we substitute this as 2. So 2 is equal to m, which is the gradient, 2 into 3 plus c. So the value of c will be 2 minus 6, which is equal to minus 4. So now if we move on to another question, we have f of 3 equals minus 2 and it's a linear function again and f of 4 is equal to minus 4 and in this case we have to find the x-intercept of the graph. So 3 comma minus 2 is one point and the other point is 4 comma minus 4. So now y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1 will give us minus 4 plus 2 divided by 4 minus 3 which is equal to minus 2. Now using this can find out we can substitute in y equals mx plus c so it will be equal to minus 2 is equal to minus 2 into 3 plus c. So c will be equal to minus 4 and now sorry c will be equal to 4 and using this we can find out the value. So 0 is equal to minus 2x plus 4. So minus 2x will be equal to minus 4 so x will be equal to 2. So now, if we go on to another question, if we have the value 5, 0, 0, 3 and a, 2 a and we have to find out the value of a, then we use the formula y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1 for these two terms. So it will be minus 3 divided by 5. Now if we equate this and this to this it will be equal to 2a minus 3 so we're doing y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1 for these two terms now so it will be 2a minus 3 divided by a minus 0 which is a now we have this equation so we just solve for a so minus 3a is equal to 10a minus 15 so 13a is equal to 15 as the negatives cancel out so 13a will be equal to 15 so a will be equal to 15 divided by 13 okay that's it for today's video guys in today's video i discussed three past paper questions in the sat and act series thank you